All right, so in this video, we're gonna look at multi-instruments, effects, and the various ways you can use them inside of VIP 3.0. We're also gonna look at set lists, snapshots, and the browser system, which is really something to be mentioned, and you're gonna love it, especially if you're a live performer. But I find myself using it inside of the studio now that I have it because of how quickly and easily you can narrow things down and get exactly what you're looking for from all of your VSTIs, not just one. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody, this is VIP. There's a lot to cover, so we're gonna jump right in. But I do wanna make a note that the key control commands are actually gonna be left for their own separate video. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and watch that video because it is awesome. It helps you keep in line, keep inside of a scale, harmonize with four notes by pressing just just one key and even chord progressions. So check out that video if that's what you're interested in. I highly suggest it because it's a huge feature inside of VIP. But in this video, we're gonna talk about multi-instruments, the searching and browsing features, the effects, set lists, and snapshots. So let's get into it. Multi-instruments are kind of what drew me to VIP, and that is the ability to add up to eight different VSTIs that are all triggered by your keyboard. And now that VIP allows third-party MIDI controller communication, everything is awesome. So I've got a patch loaded here from from Loom 2 called Dyro Chords. Let's check it out. Sounds pretty sweet. You'll see up here I've got the instrument page loaded and Loom has a checkbox next to it and that's because I am in fact on this channel using the Loom instrument. Not only that, but there are a number of attributes attributed to that particular patch. Keys, percussive, SFX, under instrument, timbre, we've got clean, dynamic, and hard, style, house, percussive, and so on. Now, one of the great features about VIP is the ability to change these easily. So I don't really think it's SFX, I just gotta click that check mark, and now that attribute is no longer associated with this patch. But maybe I think it's kind of a malady. You could just click next to it and boom, that attribute is now associated with that patch. If I wanted to add my own attribute in terms of instruments, timbre, style, or articulation, all I have to do is click the plus button and enter something in. Let's jump into the second channel here and you'll see all those check marks go away because we have nothing selected. And we can start kind of boiling things down. Let's go ahead and choose maybe bells, airy, and then all of the choices that have those attributes are over here on the left. Let's go ahead and choose another one from Loom 2, drop it on the channel. So we're well on our way to making a multi-instrument. Now that's not the only way you can search. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click this button which is gonna refresh everything. And as you can see, I've got 1,663 patches to choose from and I'm just gonna type in Atmo and let's see what we got. We got more than a few atmospheres. They're all from Loom 2. So let's just go ahead and go back and let's just choose maybe some keys from the Velvet VST keys and something like this. Drop it on there. So between the search feature and the filtering system and the ability to customize all of the tags and attributes for each one of the patches, organization is next level inside of VIP. Let's jump over here to the fourth channel, click out of all the attributes. So we're back at our home page. And if you check out Synthmaster 1 here, you'll see that there's only three patches recognized. If I click on it, these are the three patches. And obviously there are a lot more patches inside of that instrument, but it's easy enough to get into it if we wanted to. I'm gonna just go ahead and click it, which is gonna load it on that fourth channel. And if I wanna see the UI for Synthmaster 1, I can do it in a number of different ways. With that channel selected, I can click the plugin tab. There's Synthmaster 1. Let's come back to instrument. I could click here again, Synth Master 1. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than that window itself. And I'd have to pull up and down on these tabs. But if I want to pop it open into its own floating window, just got to click right there. And there we go. And now I have access to all of the presets that are available inside the synth itself. And I can also tweak anything I want as well. <laughs> Now that's supposed to be bass, so if I wanna transpose that, I can easily transpose it right here. I can also adjust which keys are gonna be able to trigger each one of these instruments so I can make a split instrument with multi-stacks on half the keyboard and a different multi-stack on the other half. Really, the sky's the limit with customizability, as I was saying before. Let's jump into the effects panel. Most all effects are recognized and mapped inside of VIP, and there are three different places you can put effects. You can use them as inserts on each one of the channels, you can use them on a bus send and return type situation, and you can use them on the master channel. Just like the VSTIs, the VSTs, if you click on one, you'll get 
all of the presets that are associated with that VST. Or again, you can start filtering down by type, subtype, attribute, and source. So, so many ways to really hone in on exactly what you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for a delay, hall type delay, and bright, narrowed it down to galaxy. Let's put that right here on this channel. And if I wanna look at it again, just gotta click right here and I can make any changes that I want. Cool. And let's go ahead and drop a spring reverb on the bus back here. So again, just click this button to get out of all the filters. Come in, let's choose a spring reverb. Let's choose the more fatness and put it on bus one. And now I can send any one of these channels to that one reverb effect by using the bus send right here. Here's an example of some of the other multis I've made while getting ready for this tutorial. So next up, I want to talk about set lists. Now set lists are really important, especially if you have a live gig and you have a certain track order that you're going to be performing. If you've made a number of multi instruments or even just a single patch and you're going to be running those things from VIP, it's really good to make a set list. So as you can see here, I've made a set list and num track number one, for example, is the dance lead with emotion. And as soon as we're done with that, I can hop into the next one, which is gonna be the next track in our set, Dark Synth Falling. And all I had to do is click that one button, and again, it's MIDI mappable, and I didn't have to do anything else. And I've got a three VSTi multi-instrument loaded with all the effects and all the goodness. And it's ready to go. I don't have to mess with anything else. And as you can see here, we have 127 set list slots open to us. If we want to add something to the set list, all we need to do is click and drag it over to the set list. And another thing that's really cool is you can actually export the set list data. So if you've constructed everything inside of your studio and you're ready to go on tour, it's easy enough to go ahead and export that data into your laptop and have it ready to go. Now there's one other feature I wanna talk about, which is getting back into the browser feature, and that is snapshots. So if I get back into the instruments here, I've got a number of different snapshots at my disposal here. And again, it's 128 different snapshots I can have. And what this is, is essentially a speedy filtering system. So let's say I wanted a spring reverb and I didn't want to have to click through all of this. I just clicked that spring reverb and all my spring reverbs come up right here. And you can do this with both effects or instruments. Let's say I wanted a dirty style mallet. I could just click right there. And again, my dirty mallets are going to come right over here. So in terms of organization and workflow, VIP has got you covered. Add to that the multi-stacked instruments. Add to that all of the effects. Add to that third-party MIDI controller compatibility. And add to that the key controls, which we're going to talk about right now in the next video and you've got yourself an incredible program that's going to be beneficial for studio work and definitely beneficial for live performance let's go check out those key controls